Well, have you ever noticed that the best parties always seem to include a charcuterie board? Like, if you aren't full before dinner, then your party can't be considered a success, right? Seriously, is there anything better than those deliciously lovely boards full of meats, cheeses, crackers, and jams? And now I'm getting hungry. People are taking charcuterie boards right now to the next level, artistic heights these days. And that is certainly the case with Annalise Johnson's West Seattle business, Charcuteries by Annalise. You are truly an artist and the charcuterie board is your canvas. Yes, thank you. It's about the only art that I'm good at. I, well, <laughs> and you excel. Let me tell you something. What makes good charcuterie? So I think there are two parts to okay. good charcuterie. The first is how it tastes and okay. the second is how it looks. So for taste, you want to start with high quality, fresh ingredients. Um, and you want to have a variety of flavors and textures. Mm -hmm. So we have, you know, tangy with the, the pickles and the olives and the golden berries, which are like a tropical oh, tangy sweet fruit. Were. And we have sweet with the fig jam and the honey and the raspberries and the dried fig. Um, and all of those different flavors together. Just combined to make an amazing thing. Yes. So I'm looking at this. I, I would one day aspire to do this, but let's face it, it's probably never gonna happen. But what are some steps to building a charcuterie board? So for me, I use a lot of the ingredients on the board to actually position other ingredients. Okay. So I like to start from the outside and work my way towards the center. So oh, like with good. something like this, okay. I would start with the grapes and the chocolate and the fig. Okay. And then I would go to the crackers on either end. I'd add oh, in the cheese okay. and work my way in so that if something needs support, I can play around and position it the way that I like it to be positioned. See, I always feel like I should put my bigger things, like I always put my cheese down and then decorate around it, but that's mm -hmm. not necessarily the case. I think that it's easier to start from the outside Okay. The way in. All right. So you have um, some tips and tricks when it comes to cutting and styling. Let's go. Yes. Okay. So I brought you this little cup. Okay. We are going to start with a piece of salami. Okay. We're going to fold it in half. Okay. What are we making? We're going to make a salami rose. Oh, I love like a salami here. rose. Okay. Yes. So I fold it in half. You fold it in half and you're going to roll it from one corner all the way to the other. Okay. I'm very good. Okay. At this. And you're going to okay. take another piece. Okay. And fold it in half again. Okay and then roll it around that piece. Ooh. And you're gonna repeat that. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing here. On either side, kind of. Like okay, start. now here's the tricky part, oh, yes. I got ahead of so myself. So you have to hold this in one hand. Yeah. We're gonna take another piece and fold it and we're gonna start building our outer Oh, come on sides. now. Now you got cr tricky on here. All right. So we're going to add four of the <laughs> half salami. You are really working on my dexterity skills. Today. <laughs> okay. Oh, I already lost part of my leaf. But I like it's, that it's now, could you do, like, it sticks. The, the good news about the salami is it kind of sticks to the side yes. of the thing. Do you definitely need paper cups or can, like, if no, you can glass use, or No, you can use other have? cups, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Um, so could I, if I was really, really needed two hands, could I just stick a, a little stick in there? Yeah. Okay. And you can also build the outside first if oh. that's easier. Okie dokie, artichokey. Um, so I have a quick question for you. With the cheeses, I always wonder, should I cut them or just leave them for the, the guest to cut? What is your policy on that? I think it kind of depends on the size of the board and the type of cheese. So okay. with brie on a big platter like this, I like to leave it whole so people can just take chunks out of it as mm -hmm. they please, however much they want on a cracker. If it's a small board, something like this, that maybe only one or two people will be eating, you can pre-slice it. Okay, all right. That seems fair. Um, so what are some of the cheese textures and cuts you want? Look how to do. Beautiful. I even ate Looks one. Looks great. <laughs> um, what are some of the best cheese textures and cuts that you need to look for? Yes, so I think it's important to always have a hard cheese, a okay. soft cheese, something creamy. So here we have a hard Cabernet Bellavitano cheese, okay. Okay. Um, some blueberry goat cheese that's soft, wondering a that spreadable was. garlic and herb cheese. Mm. Um, this is a dill Havarti. And then you have your creamy brie and your manchego. Oh, so manchego. kind of all the textures working together. Um, so I see we've got those berries that you mentioned kind of near some of the, what is this? Uh, Copa. Okay. Like what, what are some pairings that you think are perfect? Well, I 
I like to experiment, mm -hmm. so there are a ton of combinations that you can have on a char charcuterie board. Okay. Um, one of my favorites is to do, uh, you can do a hard cheese, you, you can, can totally test this out. Okay. To. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you what I call the perfect bite. Yes. So, we start with a cracker, and you can either use a jam or a honey. Let's do fig jam with this one. Okay. Fig jam. And so you put some fig jam on there. Okay. And then we're going to use some cheese. Yes, so always cheese. So let's use the Cabernet cheese. Okay. And then Just some type of meat. So we're going to use peppered salami. All right. And then we are going to top it off with some thyme. Oh, so you just grab some of that thyme and put yep. it on there. Okay. And that is the perfect bite and you can mix and match and do that with all different types of meat and cheese and spreads. I'm going to eat this right now and while I do that I'm going to ask you to explain like what are some of the most ideal boards. Is it Because I see you have a lot of circles mm -hmm. here but other shapes too. What's like the ideal cheese board? Does it have to have a lip? Can it be flat? Can it be a cutting board? It kind of depends on the event. So something like this is great if you're not setting, if you're bringing it to a party, you're not setting it up. It's easy to transport. It's a palm leaf platter, so it has the edge around it, so everything stays nicely in there. Um, something like the jet setter. This is what I designed to take on airplanes. Ooh. Much better than the ones they provide. If you were next to me, you pop that open on an airplane, I'd be like. Uh, will you marry me? <laughs> that is so beautiful. Yes, and then these are, you know, individual cups. Um, they work for corporate meetings or big or events. Weddings, I can imagine everyone gets mm -hmm. a little cup. That's adorable. Um, I, I can't, I just, I don't know if y'all can see. There are so many different little details and things on this board, but are there any, like, don'ts to putting on the charcuterie board? I think everything on a charcuterie board is delicious, but I do think that there are certain don'ts on what you put next to each other. Okay. Like, for example, I'm weird with chocolate touching other things. I don't want, like, my chocolate touching my meat. So yeah, I always I, separate it. That seems legit. Okay. Um, and you don't want to put something really, really wet, like an orange next to something that is going to get soggy if you have like crackers cracker. on the board. Right. Um, but you can totally experiment and play around with it and try different different ingredients and different combinations. You have inspired me to no end, but I, I this is just so beautiful, Annalise. Thank you for your time. Thank you. So appreciate it. We cannot wait to have you visit again. Yes, I just need definitely. you to bring more charcuterie. Right? I have lots of it. <laughs>